Hello, I'm Seth with Land the House, and this is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. In today's ram pump test, I'm going to be seeing what the head pressure to water usage ratio is. So here's the setup. I have got a five gallon bucket as my water source, and I have it on the second step, which is approximately two feet. So the three quarter inch drive pipe will come down here, dropping two feet to the pump. I'm going to get a pressure reading on this uh, setup and also time how long it takes for the ram pump to drain the water until the pump stops from uh, this height here. And then we will be moving up two steps and two steps to see what the difference is in pressure and time that the uh, pump will drain that five gallons. So to begin, let's go ahead and turn this on here. Oh, well, there's your problem, huh? Okay, let's rerun this test with both of these open like they're supposed to be. For consistency, I have the water level at the very top of the bucket. The drive pipe is full of water and it comes down here to the pump. So I'm gonna start the stopwatch as soon as the pump starts to cycle on its own. And then we'll get a PSI rating and a time. Okay, here we go. Open the drive pipe and it's off. Let's go ahead and start that watch and see how long it takes to drain the bucket and what pressure we build up to this two foot drop. Okay, running close to the end here. The valve starts to close at a slower and slower pace. So when that last cycle happens, we will stop the watch. Okay, I got two minutes and 45 seconds and a pressure, and it's hard to see, 44 PSI. That's pretty great. Remember, that's a PSI at a closed off delivery pipe. So 44 and 245. Round two, the bucket has been moved up to the fourth step of this ladder, which is approximately four foot. And I had to add this board because the angle was flexing on the unisill here. So hopefully that doesn't affect things too much. But once again, bucket's full to the top. The air is out of the drive pipe which means it's time to begin our test again here. Okay, I've also cleared out the pressure from the pump. So, let me get ready to start this. All right, timer is going. As the water is being drained out of this bucket here, I wanted to mention that I have four different size ram pumps available at landhouse.com and on Amazon. Links in the description down below. If you uh, are enjoying this content, if you would hit the thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. It really helps out so much to have your uh, feedback too. So, oh, pump just took itself apart. Oh no. Let's redo that and I'll have to maybe hold this thing. What that says to me is there is a lot more pressure than the uh, previous. Let's see what we're up to down here at halfway, uh, 50, uh, let's see, that's four, five, six, eight, nine, twelve. Yeah, 52 PSI is where we were on that uh, a minute and 20 seconds. Okay, let's try this again. I've added a couple of rocks to keep that from happening, hopefully, but uh, it also makes it more efficient. So the test is already a little bit less uh, professional than I'd like. So. Go ahead and get this going again. All right, timer is on. Increasing by just two feet makes this pump really hit hard. We're uh, at 64 PSI right now at a minute and six seconds. Okay, we're now at 226 on our time. Still just popping away here. The pressure seems to have 
settled at 64. Oh, board just dropped over there. Should be okay though. Okay, there's three minutes. So we're already 15 seconds better on this one. All right, let's call it. I've got three minutes and 39 seconds. It almost lasted one minute longer than the previous and pressure got up to 64 PSI. All right, let's go ahead and move it up one more time and see what we get. Okay, this test may go a little bit wild. I've got a six foot drop coming down, same pipe. We're gonna do our same test here. I anticipate this pressure getting up over 70. So it may uh, knock some stuff loose here, but we'll just run with it. Okay, here we go. All right, starting immediately there. Whoop, forgot to put the rocks on there. Okay, here we go. Timer is going, pressure is building. Pressure shot up really quick on that one. We are at 76 PSI. Ridiculous. I'm a little afraid that my unisil is gonna break through here. It's kind of close, but so far it's holding. Okay, yeah, 76 seems to be where it has stopped. Still holding steady at 74, or 76, excuse me. I'm seeing that this one's gonna stop a little bit earlier because my bucket has so much more of a forward tilt it's gonna pull water earlier than the previous test, but let's see what we get here. Yeah, I just heard it pull some air. All right, let's call it four minutes on the dot. So from those numbers, you can see that the lower head pressure used more water because it ran out of water quicker on our time than the higher. And also, of course, the higher up you go, the more head pressure and the more pressure you'll have for the delivery. So if you have a setup that is a low head pressure, you're going to have to have more gallons per minute to operate the pump. So uh, just keep that in mind. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a great comment, leave that down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye. So from those numbers, you can, glasses gotta come back on, too many gnats.